This was from four days ago. Bitcoin could rally to $125,000 by end of 2024. This is from today. Standard Chartered Boosts 2024 Bitcoin forecast to $120,000. What is up with all these Bitcoin predictions? I want to discuss that in this video. We are going to have a very nice, healthy look at the zoomed out and how these predictions really play into my macro technical analysis on these Bitcoin charts. But I also, in this video, want to break down the short term. For weeks, Bitcoin has been consolidating. This is a six hour chart, but this is weeks worth of consolidation. And it's the daily candle that's actually happening today, something I'm really watching on the short term. An important daily candle. I want to break that down in this video. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. I thank you for cruising through. Let's start here. So, this was from four days ago. Interesting that we got another very similar price prediction as of today, but. The one from four days ago paints an interesting range. If history is any guide, Bitcoin prices could climb by 123% over 12 months and by 310% over 18 months based on the average return of the signals triggered in 2015, 19, and 20. That would lift prices to $65,000 in 12 months and $125,000 over 18 months. Then we have this one just breaking out today, this headline, $120,000, the value of top cryptocurrency Bitcoin could reach 50,000. That's a key a key price that I'm going to look at in the charts in just a second. $50,000 this year, 2023, and $120,000 by the end of 2024. Standard Chartered said on Monday. 100,000 end of 2024 for Bitcoin back in April was their previous prediction, so they're raising it to $120,000. So let's look at the Bitcoin charts. My first thought especially just in this cycle as we're as we're bottoming out in Bitcoin. And you all know, I've been really tracking the similarities of 2019 and also trying to spot the similarities of the cycle before. In recent weeks, recent months, there has been a strong case that, that there's a lot of similarities here. And you can actually even see the similarities of, of the price chart from the bottom back here to where Bitcoin is right now. Namely, it's that green line that I have my eye on right now. It's a 20-week moving average, the 20-day moving average. We're going to look at in a minute, extremely important as well. But you see this trend of higher highs, higher lows going into the halving. And even back here in 2016, you just see this pop to the upside, right? And that move back here off of that 20 week moving average support really ties into this article price point of around $50,000 this year. And I want to show you what that looks like for me. So if you are aware, I chart these Fibonacci retracements on the zoomed out. So it's basically a bull market high to a bear market low. And it's just these really important retracements back to the upside. These, these are what I call the bull market doors, these green areas. And so Bitcoin, if you just notice where this is, this cycle around, we're looking at around $48,000 to around $57,000. So what is in there? It's kind of this $50,000 area for Bitcoin. And if we look all the way back at this, this little pump, all the way back here pre-2016 having, if Bitcoin does have a similar trajectory for the remainder of this year, similar to that cycle back there, this, this pump prior to the next 2024 having could very much be in play, right? So I want to explore that. If, if I bring up this overlay that I'm working on with a, with a team, the CCV overlay, I just want, besides being distracted by that, the band itself, you can see this bull market door indicator that we're basically charting. I'm bringing in the bull market doors into my indicator here. And you can just see 2020, it was broken. And then we actually go back here and you can see it was broken 2016, the bull market doors being broken, the true bull market really, really starting. So if, if we're looking at this from a visualization perspective, this would be the case, right? We would have, and we're, we're working on getting this indicator kind of on the chart before it even happens, but this would be the area that we're looking at for those bull market doors. It's right, it's right up here. And what we'd be really watching for is this continuation of Bitcoin. So if I get rid of the overlay and we look at what continuation could look like, it would be continued support likely above this 20-week moving average around $27,000. But that's kind of where the short-term analysis kind of becomes important to me because I'm trying to find similarities in previous cycles and, and trying to find what cycle really reflects this cycle most. And this 20-week moving average would be very pivotal 
in reflecting that 2016 market and namely Pivotal in Bitcoin making the move to $50,000 by the end of this year. We start zooming in on the charts. This is kind of what it looks like. And actually, before I even go to the daily, I just I want to, I guess, take just take note of something. If you look at what happened back here on the weekly in the last cycle, Bitcoin failed at that 20-week moving average support. So that was another just piece of data I wanted to share with you to, to kind of keep in mind that 20-week moving average is pivotal in kind of distinguishing the difference between 2016 cycle and the 2020 cycle uh, back here. Well, I should say 2019 cycle. Let's go to the Bitcoin zoomed in. This is what I'm watching for. Now, if we're looking at Bitcoin right now in the daily, I mentioned this daily candle important because Bitcoin in this in this consolidation that it's been in for weeks, it's in a very similar consolidation that it's that it was in back in kind of the end of March. And what's happening back here is Bitcoin's being pulled into the 20-day moving average, which is something we always anticipate when there's extent overextension, right? So overextension, we've anticipated being pulled into the 20-day moving average. It's being pulled in, but notice how Bitcoin actually is is below it right now. And this is where things become interesting. We're working on another CCV indicator. This is an oscillator. We can call it the CCV oscillator. I want to just show you, and this is what I'm watching very much on the short term. You can just see on this oscillator, there's a bunch of different things happening right now. But even in the oscillator, there's, 20, there's the 20-day moving average data pulled into this on the histogram. But notice the differences, the, the, the similarities, I should say. Bitcoin was getting into overbought territory back here while it was consolidating, right? Being pulled into the 20 day and then it actually fell into oversold area on this, this oscillator. While it was getting into the oversold area, notice what's happening. It's being pulled into the 20 day and we're getting a very similar thing. Overbought, right down into oversold as we're being pulled into the 20. Now here's the game changer on this chart, at least as it's, at, at least as, this indicator is concerned. You see this purple. This purple is failure at the 20-day moving average, that very critical area, right? So you can see momentarily there was failure at the 20-day moving average here as well, even as we were in this oversold area. What quickly happened was Bitcoin repivoted, and you see this turning tur turquoise? That's kind of reclaiming the 20-day moving average. This is what we need to see currently. We need to see this os this this histogram that's purple right now we need to see it tick turquoise and we need to see it happen while it's kind of in this oversold area to get this similar move that we had back here pulled into the 20 and then popped to the upside what that's going to allow is for bitcoin to truly get more separation from this key area on the weekly that we just discussed right so 20 week moving average around 27,700. If Bitcoin makes a move to the upside, we're going to get some more separation, which is healthy separation. We need a cushion from that 20-week moving average. And it really could be the case where Bitcoin's making a move to this higher high area around $33,000, $34,000. Notice also in this last consolidation after it did bounce off the 20-day, Bitcoin actually hit this upper trend line, right? This is where that true structure began. So it would be very interesting to see if the structure continues at this upper trend line and we really do put in this very large macro rising wedge, right? This upper trend line being extremely consistent as this resistance area for Bitcoin. And then we have room to the downside to continue consolidating, allowing room uh, for the 20-week moving average to, to continue act, acting as support. So that's what I'm watching. There's a lot going on there, everybody, but I really wanted to break it down. I thought it was very interesting. It's the story of continuation playing into this, this headline. $120,000 by end of 2024, $50,000 by the end of this year, right? So if we're looking for the case to hit this green channel by the end of this year, and I should have put this on the chart sooner, but the end of this year is, is right around here, right? So a lot has to happen for Bitcoin to make this move, namely that 20-week moving average support that we saw all the way back there in 2016. So this is what I'm watching, everybody. Wanted to cover those headlines because a lot of people are kind of chattering about it, but also wanted to tie in some short-term technical analysis to give us, I guess, some context to, to what the charts are actually doing and what is important in the short term. But you see this consolidation happening on the six-hour. 
it's going to break one way or the other. The question is which way, and we'll continue monitoring uh, this consolidation on the short term until we get that nice break. So everybody, I appreciate you cruising through. I hope you have a great start to your week. Hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I will see you in the next video. God bless.